Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I got my surgery done, everything went just fine. I'm just recovering from it. Um, the only thing that I have to watch is that I can't have so much activity going on. I cannot sit properly uh, because the stitches are very sensitive and they can break. Um, I did have a couple of stitches break in the process, but then the stitches are finally out and I, it's just the healing time and I just have to watch my activities and really work harder <coughs> to watch as to what I'm doing. Um, I, just starting to walk a little bit one step at a time and finally got a chance to come up here to my room i have missed this room can you tell this is the first time after my surgery after the last video i put on any makeup and as you can see i didn't put that much i just did kind of barely touched it my brows very little concealer under my eyes a little bronzer blush and lipstick and seriously no foundation here guys and if you like what you see let me know i can maybe hook you up with a tutorial on this stay home makeup look and i seriously just wanted to come and let you guys know how i'm doing and especially for those who care and those who don't care then you may skip the step well, when i was staying in bed bored to death so because i was not allowed to walk a lot or at all at the beginning i had to rest a lot and i was really bored to death so all i did is net surfing and i actually found a whole bunch of good deals and some not so good deals but good products and couldn't help it but to actually um yeah, you know what I'm, where I'm going with this, right? So I'm going to go ahead and share my haul with you guys. And as you see that I am not even sitting down, I am standing and filming this because I'm still not allowed to uh, sit properly. So I decided to stand and do this for you guys. This is how much I love you because I couldn't wait to come back. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, you guys, this might not be the best lighting, but this is what I could do for you guys today. But anyhow, the concentration today is on the products, not on me, which is going to be up close to you. And can't wait. The first thing I want to share with you guys is I, he is absolutely amazing. I love his work. I love his pictures. I love his makeup. Everything about him. This is Jeffree Star you guys and he is gorgeously adorable. Like I just love him to death and this actually came with the three lipsticks that I ordered from him. It's like having a little bit of him in my beauty room. I really love it. So I have it stuck right over here right over there so i actually can see his picture and so i can be more inspired every single day i see his face pretty face and kind of like give me strength like yes you can do this girl so without further ado let's get started so these are the three lipstick i ordered from him i am nude celebrity skin and of course unicorn blood so these are absolutely gorgeous have i used them no i barely just open them like this and stuck it back but i'm gonna go ahead and do a swatch for you guys these are really pretty colors i cannot wait to use the liberty skin i would love to mix the two together and see what combo i get and then this one right here is um unicorn blood wow i even love these two together what do you know i can maybe come up with an ombre look and as you guys notice, I am kind of losing my voice. I'm not sure it's losing or is it coming back because this is the second time it's happening to me. So I too, but I'm on so many pills that right now nothing tastes good but makeup. The second thing I got was City Color Highlight Trio. So this is the gold one and then this one is more like a champagne and then this one is bronzy, coppery uh, highlight. And I'm going to go and do swatches for you guys. You guys know that I've been in bed so much that I haven't gotten a chance to pamper myself. So I have not done any of the, you know, getting my nails done or anything like that. So... So do excuse my nails. I know I've got a lot of turmeric happening on them, but... I'm sure you'll get over it. So um, this is what I paid five bucks for it in the beauty supply store and I think it is, it's quite pigmented. I really like the way it goes on. It's buttery smooth and I cannot wait to play with it. Although I did put a little bit of the uh, champagne and bronzy color on my cheeks and a little bit on my nose, but that's about it. And I also got LA Colors a brow palette from the same store. It comes with, let me open this for you guys. 
whoops, and I dropped the stencils. This comes comes with three stencils right here. Uh, eyebrow pencil, uh, eyebrow brush that I care less about, tweezer, and a spoolie. And then you have two wax, a dark and a light one to work with, a highlight color, and then three different brow color. I have not used this one, so I definitely cannot tell you about it. Ulta haul, I got NYX Liquid Sued Lipstick in 07. Let's see if there's a name. Sandstorm. I really wanted to go ahead and get something natural. I do have this would be my second one from Ulta. I'm gonna do it right here so we can compare them. Oh wow. That looks kind of sort of like the celebrity skin. What do you guys think? So if you guys want celebrity skin, you guys want to go ahead and reach out to NYX Liquid Lipstick in Sandstorm. That one I paid 20 bucks for. This one was about $6.99 or something plus the coupon. Hello. I don't know if my voice is bothering you guys because sure it's bothering me. It's like some second person speaking through me, but what the hell. So go ahead. Brand name Essence from Ulta. It's like very cheap brand and I've heard a lot of good things about it. I really wanted to try several different products from this brand so I went ahead and got a bronzer. This is what the bronzer looks like. It's a very pretty bronzer and you know what? I was very surprised. It is very pigmented, buttery, smooth. I love it exactly. I think I'm already bronzed enough for this bronzer so maybe for my lighter skin color clients would love to use this and this is what it looks like you guys so if you guys have lighter skin this is for you it was not so expensive so do look for it it is very good product product from this brand I got was a blush it's adorable and that is what's called I don't like the packaging it feels like it can break at any point and here's the blush looks like now the blush do have a little bit of a chalky feel other blush I got from this collection was baby doll this one is more of a better and buttery smooth feel as you can see as well this is the darker one right here. this is the darker one right here on top and I actually like this one compared to the other blush then the other lipstick I got from this brand was Cool Nude. It is very mauve color like this. There you go. This is the swatch for you. It's like a mauve pink. It's very buttery sheen to it, so it's not matte at all. From this very same brand is Nude Love number 11. And this looks absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This one right here. Okay, this one I really like uh, because of the packaging. I wanted to try it. I thought it was going to be exact this color. But this is actually a, what it says, wearing only a smile. So if you smile, this is basically going over like a little sheen of highlight. That's it. There's no color to it, you guys. So maybe a lip pencil and then this color on top would be good. Then this one right here on top of that reminds me of, I believe it is the nude color from Gerard Cosmetics. This one is Porcelain Doll. I really like this one as well. This one is barely there and this one's at the bottom. Then at Ulta Online, Amazing Cosmetics brow powders were on sale for $18 to $8 a piece. So I got me one in Brow O4, which is a darker one, kind of like an ebony or dark brown from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Then I got one in number three, which is the lighter one, like this one. Got a blush that was also on sale from Amazing Cosmetics and it is called Mucho Mango. Here you have that. It feels very pigmented. Kind of like a very light peach, my kind of color, let's put it that way. Then I got me some naked, <laughs> then I got me some Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Foundation. And the color I got that in 5.0, I'm not sure if this is my color, I have not used it. How could I use it? I was in bed the whole time since I got it, but I think it might be my color, so what do you guys think? But I can't wait to try this. I've heard a lot of good things about it, and I love the packaging. feels so good, so expensive. And you guys, if you want to buy some setting spray, right now is the time. This is Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, long-lasting, and I get it in package of two because 
this might last you all year long. You don't need an extra one. So the 30, if you buy one individual one, you pay $30 for it. If you buy both of them, then it's I think $40. So you are saving a lot of money here and then you can also use coupon on it right now. And that's why I went ahead and stocked this up. The other thing I got was more lipsticks. I got NYX Cosmetics Better Lipsticks three piece set. What the heck, doesn't say the name. I'm going to open it up for you guys. So these are, do they have a name? This one is Sandy Kiss, Root Beer Float, and then this one right here is Afternoon Heat. Wow, these are so pigmented. Okay, this one right here is kind of like very, very, like a gloss type lipstick sandy kiss so you definitely need a liner with this um now this one root beer float i hope this one's not like that one okay this one has more color to it here you go guys here's a swatch for you i love the first one this red one right here all right you guys then i also got me some of the um Essence lip liners and they are in color and uh, I've got honey berry and then in the nude and they are not buttery smooth so you do have to kind of work with them but they do apply good like they're pigmented Next lipstick I got from NYX Cosmetics. This is in color Tea and Cookies. And this is a very mauve pink color again. We are all into it. And I really am loving the liquid lipsticks lately. They are just the bomb. And they actually last a very long, long time. And that's why I prefer those over the regular lipsticks. So the regular lipstick I kind of use on a daily basis where if it comes off, I can care less about it. But... But for the events and stuff, for my clients, this is what I prefer is a liquid lipstick. The other thing I got was Stila Lip Gloss Set, Lip Glaze Set, whatever you want to call it. This is what I call it. Um, this was on sale for $20 and I thought that was a very good deal. And that pretty much was the reasons for me to purchase these. I have not tried them, but in the packaging, of course, they look so This Marc Jacobs Foundation. This one is from Sephora. So this pretty much haul is mixed up. So I got this in beige gold and I have not tried this, if this is my color or not, but, and there was a huge drama with this foundation to actually get to my house. They sent my makeup order to somebody else and healed them. I was so bummed out about it, but love the packaging. It is so cute. It's like a candy for us, isn't it? I love it. I, I probably call this my Christmas present right here. I love this bomb. I love it. Can't wait to use this on screen for you guys. Then with the Urban Decay foundation, I had to buy the foundation powder as well. And I love the packaging of it. The way it comes in the um, pouch. And when you open the pouch, that's when you get this very sleek looking, very metallic and reflected packaging. It is very cute. I got it in what color? Medium neutral. And this is what it looks like. Comes with a little sponge on this side and then of course the product. <laughs> product. And then you have a full actually mirror right here. Also got me a Kat Von D tattoo liner. I finally got my hands on this booger. I know everybody's been so raving about it that how good it is. I tried the Tarte one and I'm okay, okay fan of it, but I really wanted to go ahead and see what Kat Von D can do for me. So be ready to check that out on my channel. Then I got this as free gift from Essence because I bought so many product. And this is their mas mascara. This is their mascara. <laughs> this is their volume mascara. This is what the bristle looks like. Can't wait to try this for you guys. Okay, and then... <gasps> This was expensive. Liar Lip Gloss from Urban Decay. I I don't like to buy lip glosses that are more than $15, seriously. I think they're too pricey. This one's 22, I can't believe I bought this, but this was very pretty. I saw this in one tutorial and it was bomb. I said, I have to try this one. If not all of them, I had to get this one and we shall see how it looks on camera. And then this baby was on sale for $39 down from, I believe, 50 bucks. Smashbox Double Exposure. I did say that. I thought I didn't. Okay, it comes with a... 
it comes with a dual end brush like this and then this is what it looks like I have not touched this baby but I really like the way it looks it's washed really good in the store for me it really is pigmented so if you guys really are in market to buy a good eyeshadow palette this is very good for $39 and right now at Ulta 20% off on top of this so got me another Laura Mercier translucent powder you just know what that is and everybody's raving about it I got me a Smashbox prime bronze highlight box this is $42 you guys but it actually was cheaper than this I believe was it 30 30 plus the 20% off something like that and I really mainly got it because it has whole bunch of product plus the water primer that I really wanted to try I've tried it in store before but really couldn't tell the difference so I thought this would be a good time to buy it since the price was absolutely good so this is a very good amount especially to go bottle hello yes so if I buy it in the near future this can definitely go in my vanity kit my kit to go my makeup kit and I love this it looks the packaging is very good then it also comes with a little bronzer like this this is warm matte bronzer from Smashbox and then it, it also comes with blush as well this is blush named passion I have not used any of these products that's just being honest with you if you want to see any product in action let me know because this baby is back to working yes this baby is back this one is highlighter and this is silver lake sunset and it kind of reminds me of those mac cosmetics holiday collection lipstick packaging but yeah that's that the next thing i got ready or not the tandy chanel bronzer i purchased this before but then ended up just using it once and turning it but i wanted to go in give it a chance one more time and because I missed it so bad even though I didn't try it because some products do that to you so I went ahead and spoiled myself um, and got this baby can't wait to try this and this time I really want to take my time and regardless if it works or not it ain't going back this time I think it's just gonna look very pretty up sitting in my drawer so that's that I was very very confused about this product this is Anastasia Beverly Hills lustrous lip gloss set oh my gosh I've got it upside down I kind of slid the insert out and put it upside down but this is what the lip gloss looks like and I am not quite a huge fan of chunks of glitter in the lip gloss so I see it has one two three four five five lip gloss that has chunks of glitter in it and then you have one two three that are just the lip gloss i can't call them matte because they you know what i'm saying so this one right here this one this one this one this one these have glitter in it so till i really apply them on my lips i can't tell if they're good or not or if i would like them or not personally because we all have different preferences preferences um, if you guys want me to go ahead and do a swatch video for you guys on this baby this was $40 this is full this is a full size set of Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses go ahead and comment me down below and I'd love to do that for you guys if it or not we are done with all the products and hopefully you enjoyed it I'm so sorry please excuse my crabby voice my freaking nails and also the way I look and if you are interested in this stay home makeup look please do give me a thumbs up and let me know and i shall see you guys later bye bye